Hey, what's up everyone? We've got some insane news about the RTX 5070, and honestly, it's not looking great. NVIDIA promised that the RTX 50 series would bring a massive performance jump, but now, leaks are suggesting that the RTX 5070 might actually be slower than the RTX 4070 Super, at least in raw performance. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's break it all down. So here's the deal. The RTX 5070 is set to launch in February 2025 at a price of $549, featuring 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. Sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. According to NVIDIA's own white papers, the RTX 5070 has 6,144 CUDA cores, which is 14% fewer than the RTX 4070 Super, which had 7,168. It also has fewer texture mapping units, 192 compared to 224 on the 4070 Super. And while both GPUs share the same number of render output units, the drop in CUDA cores and TMUs could seriously impact raw performance. And here's where things get even more frustrating. The RTX 5070 consumes 250 watts of power, which is 14% more than the RTX 4070, yet it still might perform worse in certain scenarios. Now, you might be wondering, how is NVIDIA marketing this as an upgrade? Well, it all comes down to multi-frame generation, a feature that uses AI to predict and generate additional frames, making gameplay smoother. When multi-frame generation is turned on, the 5070 could perform well. But when it's turned off, raw performance takes the front seat. And that's where things start falling apart. In fact, without multi-frame generation, the RTX 5070 might not even outperform the RTX 4070 Super. And this isn't just speculation. NVIDIA's own numbers suggest that the RTX 50 series relies heavily on DLSS and multi-frame generation to show any real gains. And it's not just the 5070. This trend applies to the entire RTX 50 lineup. The RTX 5080, for example, is only 8 to 9% faster than the 4080 Super. And get this, the RTX 5090 is just 27% faster than the 4090 without multi-frame generation, whereas the 4090 was nearly 50% faster than the 3090 in pure raw performance. So what does this mean? Well, if you were expecting a massive performance leap with the RTX 50 series, you might want to lower your expectations. The RTX 5070 looks like a side grade rather than an upgrade, and it seems like NVIDIA is pushing AI-based frame generation harder than ever to compensate. But what do you guys think? Is the RTX 5070 a letdown, or do you think multi-frame generation makes up for it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates on the latest GPU news. See you in the next one.